Once upon a time, there lived an old miller and his retired donkey that had been with him for years. The miller would make flour from the corn that his faithful donkey carried for him from the fields. The old miller's donkey aged over time. He was unable to carry the corn to the mill. Uh. But the miller still needed a strong, powerful, and a young donkey. Although it made him very upset, he knew that it was time to part from this donkey that had served him all this time. You are very old now, and my loads are heavy. Look at how you struggle as you carry the corn to the mill. Unfortunately, I must set you free now. I need a young donkey to help me instead. But in my opinion, there's no need to be upset. You always said that you have a great voice and that you wanted to be a part of a band. Here's your opportunity. After tomorrow, you can follow your dreams. That night, the donkey rested and dreamed joyfully in his stall. He was pleased that he had never upset his owner, but was also a little upset to be leaving him. Feeling satisfied at having completed his duties, he fell into a deep sleep. The next day, he headed towards the city of Bremen. After walking for some time, he saw a crying old dog in the garden of a house. What's up, brother dog? Tell me, why are you crying? Why shouldn't I cry? All my food is gone. My owner went to town for an important job and still hasn't come back. Seems that he's not coming back for some time. Oh. He sent use for me to take care of myself. But at this age, where can I find bones? What will I do now? I'm very sad for you, but there's no need to cry. I think this is a chance for you to start a new life. What do you mean? I'm in the same boat as you. So I'm starting my new life. I'm going to Bremen. I'm going to set up a band. If you like, you can play drums in my band. The doggy accepted the donkey's proposal happily. So they hit the road together. Not much time had passed when they came across an old grumpy cat in another garden by the corner of a garden door. When they saw her like this, out of curiosity, they asked her, Hey, Sister Cat, what's happened to you? Why are you frowning? Meow. Oh, I was such a happy cat. I used to run in the garden and climb trees. Mice used to be terrified of me. But now I am so old. All I want to do is curl up and sleep on a pillow. Mice jump, 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 jump around me and they don't care about me at all. This reason, my owner told me that he was going to get a new and younger cat. Ah, uh, I've got it. Join us and come to Bremen with us. We were in the same situation as you, but now we are headed towards a new direction to set up a band. Wouldn't you like to change your life too? Of course I would. And my claws still work. I can play the guitar very well. The three of them set off on the road again. Not much time had passed when they came across a rooster that sat on top of a fence by a farm. The rooster looked quite sad. Hi rooster, how are you? I'm so sad. Even though I love to sing, I've gotten very old so I can't wake my owners up early in the morning. I'm always late. They don't even take me to the coop anymore. You are just the friend we are looking for. We're setting off on the road to start a new life being in a band. We don't have a lead singer yet. Would you like to be one? Come with us to Bremen. Start your new life. The rooster accepted their offer with joy and joined the group. They continued on their way. <coughs>
They walked and walked and walked for a long while. It started to get dark and they were very tired. They decided to rest under a tree. The rooster and the cat climbed to the top of the tree. The dog and the donkey lay under it. Because they were very hungry, they couldn't get any sleep. Just as they were thinking how they were going to spend the night in a place they didn't know at all. I see a house ahead. I can see less coming from the window. They must have food. I think we can fill our bellies and rest there. Let's go. They ran all the way to the house. The donkey leaned his head towards the window and described to his friends what he saw. Yeah, it was a nice job. It looks like there are three bandits inside and they have guns. There's lots of food on the table. What's more, they have money and jewels. The donkey started to come up with a plan. If we want to go in the house and fill our bellies, we're gonna need to scare off the bandits. Okay, I got it. Here is the plan. Brother dog, you get onto my back. Sister cat, you on top of the dog. And rooster, you climb on top of all of us. I'll count until three. And on three, we are all going to shout at the same time, okay? One, two, three. All shouting at the same time, they started making some strange sounds. The bandits, who heard these loud screams from outside, were terrified. So they ran out and left, leaving everything behind. Excited that their plan had been successful, the four friends went inside. Whoa! There's wonderful food here! Look! They even have liver and milk! Can you see how large that steak is? All the corn is mine, Uncle Dibs! They sat together around the table and ate to their heart's content. Having filled their bellies, sleepiness took a hold of them all. So they turned off the lights and fell into a sweet slumber. Spying on the house from outside, the bandits wanted to go in the house again to find out what was going on. They chose one from the group to go and check the house. One of us has to look around the house. Go and look inside and then let us know. Why do I always have to go and look? Because you're the most clever and bravest out of all of us. Really? Is that true? Yes, yes, of course. Come on, go! <laughs> <laughs> Dork, you believed us. The bandit that went to the house opened the door and sneaked inside. In the dark, the bandit thought that the cat's eyes were fire. Since it was freezing outside, as he reached in to warm himself, the cat took this opportunity and pounced straight on the bandit's head, scratching him and beating him down. As the bandit tried to escape with his life, the dog, lying by the door, bit the bandit's leg. The donkey, who had been watching everything until now, gave the bandit a good old kick. At this point, the rooster kept on crowing and crowing. Run! Run! Don't let me go into that house again! It's too dangerous for us now! There are awful, awful creatures inside. While I was running away, I heard one of them shout, Quick, catch him! Let's run, let's run, let's run! This way, the four friends ended up having a new home and money. They went to Bremen often to give concerts. The town 
townspeople got to know them and loved them very much. The donkey played harmonica, the dog drums, the cat played the guitar, and the rooster was the lead singer. The four friends lived happily together and carried out their dreams to the very end of their lives. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.